You've heard of spiked punch, but have you ever heard of spiked coffee? You probably have, right? But, but have you ever heard of spiked coffee with the brand name Dunkin' Donuts on it? You can probably just go home and make it yourself and spike it any way you want. But this uh, spiked coffee is coming straight out of the donutty source itself. Let's talk about that. Ooh, welcome back, guys, to another Booze and Chill episode and short episode. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about Dunkin' Donuts releasing spiked coffee as well as spiked tea. I failed to mention that in the beginning, but here we are. So this news was released uh, on this month, being August on the 14th. I'm a little bit late on this one, but, you know, it's, it's never too late to so thanks to Dunkin' Donuts, we've got a new way to really just wake ourselves up, not with just the caffeine that we drink in our coffees, but now we can go to work much more awake and much more relaxed. Uh, that's just uh, that's that's how spiked coffees work, right? Right. Dunkin' Donuts got this really bright idea uh, because uh, apparently that their coffees are hitting well, hit very well. And so they thought, you know what, let's expand this uh, awesome coffee idea by, you know, boozing it up a bit. They also did this because they did this collaboration back then with the Harpoon Brewery and they did uh, the Dunkin' Donuts beer. So there was inspiration out of that to create their own thing. So uh, this is uh, Dunkin' Donuts' standalone uh, way of, you know, spiking up y'all's morning and day. I actually have an article here. I'm going to open up and I'm going to read you guys a quote from the people from Dunkin' Donuts and what it is that they had to say about uh, this uh, spiky uh, tea coffee beverage. And here the quote reads, we knew we had the opportunity to create something special when we saw the positive response to our previous seasonal collaborations for Dunkin' inspired beers, which, uh, like I mentioned, uh, collaborating with Harpoon Brewery. The growing appetite for adult beverages inspired us to put a twist on our customers' favorite Dunkin' iced coffee, iced tea, and refresher flavor, said Brian Gilbert, Vice President of Retail Business Development at Dunkin'. Dunkin' Spiked is perfect for a day or night enjoyment and comes in eight distinct flavors available in grocery and package stores later this month. This new line of ready-to-drink adult beverages elevates Dunkin's offerings and we know our 21 plus fans will love every sip. So Dunkin talking a lot of confidence. Uh, they believe in their coffee. Um, leave it in the comments if you guys are fans of Dunkin Coffee. I'm going to say it right here, right now. I might get some hate, but I myself, not the biggest Dunkin Donut Coffee fan. But, uh, you know, I'm just going to throw that out there. Leave it in the comments if you guys are excited for this uh, spiked coffee and tea from Dunkin. Leave it right down there in the comment box, please. And now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys an actual variety pack of both of the coffees and the tea. So let me go ahead and switch right onto the, the screen over here. Here we're looking at the Dunkin' Spiked Coffee Mix Pack. And uh, we can see that it's got four different flavors. Uh, it's got from original to caramel to mocha to vanilla. Pretty basic flavors when it comes to coffees. And... Uh, this one and these these in particular as you know what we've been talking about they are coming in with some alcohol uh these particular uh spiked coffees are going to be coming in at around uh six abv six percent abv so uh they're a little bit you know in between from high and low so you you get that nice level of the caffeine and the alcohol so you're going to be good to go if you happen to, you know, decide to, you know, you know, just happen to have one in the morning before going to work. Uh, just, uh, you know, don't don't. I mean, I always I always uh, put out there, don't drink and drive and drink responsibly. But, you know, if if if, if you get your hands on coffee, 
that's just a little bit on the adulty side. I mean, you know, why why not? You know, it gets gets you through all the bullshit of the day, right? And work and stuff like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you the variety pack of the spiked tea. Let's go on to the the next uh thing here. And here we are looking at the Duncan spiked coffee, and it comes with all as well as four different flavors being the original the half and half the strawberry daiquiri and i believe is the uh give me a sec here correction it was strawberry dragon fruit and uh mango pineapple sorry about that now the abv on this one it lowers down to a five percent um per not sure if it has to do with the fact that you know the caffeine affects it or not but this one does lower to a 5.0 ABV. Um, we already used to having uh, spiked teas with the same label of ABV. So not, uh, not a big surprise there. Only thing is you're going to be drinking Dunkin' teas. That's the only big difference. And that is exactly what uh, the folks at Dunkin' Donuts are excited for, for you guys to try. But that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Just uh, all, all, I, all I can tell you is just keep an eye out for those Dunkin' uh, coffees and teas. Uh, once again, just be very careful if you just so happen to decide to have one of the coffee ones in the mornings. Or just, um, you know, have one in between, you know, lunchtime or something. You know, just, you know, just, uh, just be careful with that. And that concludes this short video. Again, leave it in the comments right down below if you guys are excited for Duncan's uh, new spiked beverages. And also, if you enjoyed today's video, please boop that like button right down below if you're into all kinds of beer reviews of all kinds of styles, uh, liquors, cocktails, sometimes beer and movie reviews. If you're into all of that or Dunkin Donuts new spiked beverage ideas, uh, hit that like button right down below. Subscribe and hit the bell notification for the next upcoming video. And that is it for that, guys. I will see you in the next one. And remember, if you keep watching, I'm going to keep drinking. Peace out, guys. I'm actually having coffee myself. Uh, Death Wish, though. For those of you who know, that's my thing. And uh, that's right on the money right there. Cheers. See you guys in the next one.